I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Vicky. Uh, yeah, I'm actually sweating. I'm that nervous about doing this video because I haven't been on here for such a long, long, long time. But I'm back anyway. Um, so as I say, if you're new, welcome. And if you're still here, guys, from following me from many moons ago, thank you. And I love you all bunches. And thank you for still sticking around. It means the absolute world to me. Um, yeah, if your guys' support is just amazing. So, I'm not going to make this video a really big waffle on, she says. Uh, I'm going to try and just keep it short and sweet because I don't want to get into the nitty gritty. I cannot be bothered and it's just irrelevant. It's just, it's been, it's gone. The past, the past is in the past. It's gone. It's done. I can't change it. Um, so yeah, grab yourself a cup of tea or in my case, a cup of coffee because this may take a while. It may not. But as I say, I'm not planning on waffling on for too long because what's the point? You've probably heard it all before. So anyway... I am now back, as you can probably tell from the title. I rejoined, didn't I? I did. I took the plunge um, and I've gone back. Um, as you, well, f if there's anybody new, then um, I did previously follow Slimming World a couple of years ago now, on and off. Um, I did do it for the longest time uh, and I lost nearly four stone. Uh, but then life happened, life got in the way, um, things changed, I had a lot going on. Um, if you didn't know, I do suffer with anxiety and depression, um, I am on medication and things for it. Uh, Angel's doing better by the way, she's had her operation if you didn't know, but she keeps barking at the floorboards upstairs because the people upstairs are moving around. She's just in the healing process. Well, by healing, I just mean her scabs from her scars. But everything else, she's all fancy pants and done. Um, she's a fluffy, fluffy bear because she can't be groomed yet because obviously she can't get groomed over her, her uh, scars and things because they're not fully healed. Uh, and I don't want to risk having them snagged. So, but as you can tell, she's uh, much better. And I've completely lost my train of thought. If you didn't know, Angel is my chihuahua. Uh, she's 10 in a couple of months. Uh, she had a major operation. Again, this is the second one she's had. Because um, she had these lumps and cysts and things. She had two. Uh, yeah, so she's had, had those. But she's recovering really well. Uh, she's doing brilliant. Uh, super trooper, full of baked beans. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, I've been quiet all morning. All morning they've been quiet. I decided to come on here and have a chat with you guys. And obviously, they decide they want to stomp around. Anyway, now I've lost my train of thought. Um, but I think I was just touching up on before. Uh, but yeah, I did it before. Um, I originally did it because my dad was um, getting uh, remarried. Um, I think it was in 2016. Sorry, Dad, if it's wrong. <laughs> but I think it was back in about 2016. Um, and I did, I lost about a stone and a bit just before his wedding. Um, so I was happy with that. Uh, and I just carried on. Um, and I did lose nearly four stone. It was just a few pounds away from four stone. Um, I was doing really well. And then, as I say, life just got in the way. Things happened, things changed. Um, my comfort zone changed everything was just different and I don't with my anxiety I don't deal with change and things not being how they're supposed to be and it being all out of whack it has to have routine it has to be the same uh, not the same but it has you know it has to fit in and I have to know about things changing I can't just have it changed and that's what's played a lot in these diets at the moment that I keep trying and doing which 
each to their own whatever diet works for you works for you i've done a couple of different ones um i've, I've tried the cambridge diet um which is now known as the one-to-one -one diet which is brilliant i'm not knocking that diet by the way it does give you fast results which just wasn't for me it just it wasn't for me. Uh, I've tried calorie counting, but you give me an inch, I'll take a mile. I wasn't really being sensible with my calories. I was just eating whatever I wanted as long as it was with my calories, which don't get me wrong, you probably can if you're in a calorie deficit, but I was just taking the absolute. Woo. So I had to step away from that. Uh, I did intermittent fasting with that as well, which I love intermittent fasting, and that's still something God thinks really beneficial um, for me. If, I'm not doing intermittent fast, I'm just saying it's still a good thing in my opinion. Uh, they all are. <laughs> I really don't explain myself very well, do I? Shush. Um, what else have I tried? Uh, I, well, I attempted to try Weight Watchers. I did it for about two weeks and realised that just wasn't the way. Because that was just a posh way of calorie counting for me. Um, as I say, each diet is different to each person. If it works for you, it works for you. Brilliant, excellent. But you just got to find... Which is your happy place? Which is your happy diet bubble? Uh, weight loss journey, which which fits in with your lifestyle and your happiness and your comfort and your ease. Um, just whatever works for you. And for me, I've come to realise it is Slimming World. As much as I didn't want to admit it, I've never slagged Slimming World off. I've never said anything bad about it. Um, it, I just thought at the time it wasn't for me and I was, I was bored of it basically I was just bored and I was just trying to find something else um, because I just wanted faster weight losses as well and it just wasn't quick enough for me um, when, when in reality it was it was fine I was doing okay I just I got impatient basically and if you stick to the plan the plan will not fail you um, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have unexpected gains and things sometimes, but that's just my body. It's just how it is, um, especially on Star Week, which, by the way, I've got now. This is only my first week. And obviously, I got Star Week just as I got home, didn't I? Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just whatever works for you, isn't it? And it definitely is what works for me. But, um, yeah, I'm loving the new covers. And I'm loving... Oh, I'm loving the new book. It's, it's just great because you, you flip it over and then you flip over the other side. It just saves all them extra leaflets and the faff inside, doesn't it? I'm loving the new book. I think it's really pretty as well. So I do like it. It makes me smile. Um, yeah, hang on. Let's take a sip of coffee. Sorry, I've got people walking past the window looking at me because I'm literally sat in front of my window. Very nosy, you know. So yeah, that's basically all I'm going to say on it. There is more ins and outs of it. There is more reasons of why I always stepped away from Slim World like a bloomin' idiot. But yeah, it did play, a, and it still kind of is playing a massive, 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 massive part in my anxiety and depression at the moment. So I am trying to feel better in myself in more than one way and rejoining Slimming World and getting some pounds off is going to be a massive help for me. Um, I went back to group on Friday, I rejoined, Friday just gone, on the 29th of April, I remember the date because that was my brother's birthday, Stephen, uh, he had his birthday so I'll always remember the day I started Slimming World, so I went in on the 29th of April on Friday morning at half nine, um, my consultant, um, he wasn't there, he was in Wales visiting his mum. Um, but the lovely lady that uh, took his group that day, she um, she's a member there, so I, I know her anyway. Um, she's literally, she's she's a queen. She's an absolute queen. She's just hit target. She, I think she started in January last year when I was there. Uh, I didn't recognise her at first. <laughs> she's lost eight stone. Eight stone. That's just something to be proud of. Bravo to her. Um, but yeah, she she gave. I sat. I went to group. Um, she welcomed me and she was lovely. Um, there was a couple of other people joining me. There was a lovely, nice little old couple, um, husband and wife. They were so cute. They were chatting to me. They were lovely. <laughs> um, but they've done it previously, but it's all changed for them. Um, she wasn't happy about the yogurts being half a thing. So I was filling her in on what I could remember. I was like, oh, no, you can't have those now. And Yeah. <laughs> she was lovely. It was like talking to me now. Um, but yeah, um, there was another there was another man uh, that joined as well. 
um, as you can, I did sit to the, um, you know, the the little talk that you have um, when you sign up um, about the plannings and the outs, the do's, the don'ts, uh, sins, healthy extras, free food, all that jazz, you know, that, that new members talk. That's what I'm looking for. That new members talk. I did actually sit to it instead of just getting my book and going and getting wired or whatever again. I sat and I listened and I took it in, even though I, I knew it. It's just nice to have that fresh mindset, going into a group, just sitting down, feeling like a new member, because that's how I'm looking at it now. I'm not looking at this like, I've been on diets, I've been on something well before, I've failed, I've done this, I've done that. Um, because I haven't failed, because I'm still trying, I'm, I'm still trying to get on with it, because I could just say, sod it now. Um, but that's 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 not the right mindset to have because my weight makes me incredibly unhappy, incredibly unhappy, um, and only I can fix it and only I can do something about it. And even if I don't get the results quick like that, like before, it took me about four years. Um, I am a very slow little loser, um, always have been. I don't get the big losses, and if I do, they're very 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 rare. Um, but yeah, it's not about getting it done now it's just slow and steady will eventually win my race um i will get there um i am the turtle not the hare or the tortoise not the hare um but yeah i'm just i'm just gonna carry on i'm gonna chip away even if it takes me years at least i'm still doing something about it i've got people to talk to about it in group experiencing the same things as me so i'll never be alone i've got you guys as well um if you're following slimming world bit presumptuous even if you're not still got you have not I? Uh, let me know down below what weight loss plan you're following if any what you're doing because i am interested to know um just so uh, we can have a little we can all have a little catch up in the comments um but yeah even if it takes me years i'm still making better choices in those years with my fruits and my vegetables and healthy extras and being a part of something as opposed to just being left in the corner to my own devices eating pizza and cake and well not really cake yeah, crisps <laughs> even though you can have your crisps and things on slimming world which is another reason why i love it as long as you sin them and it's within your sins happy days um i do still um plan on saving majority of my sins for the evening because that's when I like to sit down and I like to have a good munch with TV and snack on some crisps and chocolates and things like that. Each of their own, they're there to be used however you want to use them. Um, but I am going to be using them within my meals. If I want to make my meals a little bit more judged, I am going to start incorporating my sins within my meals as well. A lot of sauces, good sausages. I found I've I have done a video um, before this, it'll go up after this, um, just a little Tesco's top-up shop, um, but I, I, the sausages that I've got from there, they're two sins each, they're the Tesco's own ones, they're 50% reduced fat pork, um, and they're two sins each, and I don't know if that seems hard to some people, but if I'm going to use sins on a sausage, it has to be worth it, and honestly, these are the best low sin sausages I've found, they taste incredible it tastes absolutely divine i love them i could quite happily eat the whole packet um which i could with any decent sausages i suppose but i blame my pops for that he's, he's the sausage fiend but you ain't nothing but rich sausages so he's a, he's a sausage snob of my pops is. um but yeah so i will be still saving majority of them for the evening that's just how I want to do it. I'd sit down with like a cup of coffee and some biscuits or something, or a bit of chocolate, or whatever I'm fancying, especially this week being Star Week, um, ladies' time of the month. Um, I've wanted chocolate. So I've gone out and I've bought loads of low sin snacks, but all within my sins. So I've had like curly whirlies, standard. Um, I've had little many packets of biscuits. Um, I've had some bliss bars. Oh, and the... There's this Malwam bar, not Malwam, uh, Millions bar. Hold on, get off my laptop. There's a million, it's like a tube. Um, I don't know if you're interested, but I'm just rattling off here. It's like a tube. Um, it's like a gooey, chewy, it's like, you know, like strawberry laces, it's like that, but a big thick one with loads of little millions wrapped around it, like stuck to it. 
and for the whole thing and it lasts a while it's really chewy it's only five cents and it's really nice um i've only been able to get the strawberry ones at the minute i want the bubblegum one but my b and is selling them i think they're only like eight to nine p they are delicious they last a long time as well as i say really chewy i don't know why i'm telling you all this because it's you're probably not really interested but anyway i've told you so it's out there now um but yeah so that saved me on my uh week i haven't had my first weigh-in yet my weigh-in isn't until friday today is tuesday um so yeah i'm still in my first week i've only been on plan since friday i did order myself a food diary off ebay um just before i started um it is by uh, fabulous planning they do have a um a website and they are on Instagram as well. It's just fabulous planning. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But yeah. Um, I did order this. And it just says, when you feel like giving up, remember why you started. And that's something I really need to listen to. So I needed to see that quote on a daily basis. So I got that on the front of my food diary. This diary is brilliant. It's got loads of stuff in here. It's, it's honestly full of little goodies. Um, I'm, love, I'm absolutely loving this food diary. And it's keeping track of your sins and things and your sleep as well. Um, it's got loads of other little bits and pieces that you can fill out. Um, and you, 12 week countdown. So 12 weeks, I think it was, I can't remember actually. About £10 I think. Or just under, no I think it was just under. I think it was what, like £7.99 or something, I can't remember. Just have a look on eBay, just put in um, food journals for Slimming World. They'll all pop up. Um, but as I say, this one's by Fabulous Planning. But I just look on the website if I'm interested in this one. Pardon me, excuse me. But I have been filling it out, so that was my day one. I do get stickers. Yes, I make it pretty. I want to fill it out. It makes me keep on track of filling out my diary, so I do. Um, yeah, so I've got some stickers. I just buy these from like Poundland and Proper Job and things. I get two packs for a pound. So yeah, I have been filling out the days that I have been on plan. So I am keeping on top of everything. If I eat it or track it, it's, it's just got to be done. Oh, this one comes with some stickers as well. Some on and off plan stickers and quotes and things. And exercise stickers. You get two sheets of those, which I think is really good. Um, but yeah, I get like a dream board as well. I have got to go through this and fill out some more things, but I just haven't. I just keep it in this little wallet um, that I got from the pound shop. You get a pack of them. Um, I keep it in that just so that I keep this in my bag. So if I'm out and about and I have something, I've got no excuses, I right in there and get it in so yeah i am trying to keep on track of things because if i have a good week i have a good loss um or i'm stuck for ideas i can look back and just say what i've had what i haven't had etc etc so you know i said this wasn't going to be a long video but it's nearly 20 minutes long well it's nearly 18 minutes long i don't feel like i've got anything much more to add um you have to excuse the state of my hair by the way because as you guys know i had it cut in December, I had it December the 1st, I had to have a big chop. Um, my hair was originally just under my boobs, um, but I fried it gradually and gradually and gradually by bleaching it and oof, a hair stripper, a hair stripper removal thing is what killed my hair. Um, don't use them. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, and then I, I cut it myself to here, but then it, it fried more and then it was just about here and it, it was dead it was like straw it was like a nasty bird's nest it was destroyed back in december so i went spontaneously which doesn't like me i just had enough of it it was horrible it was it was really embarrassing me if i had to go out because i couldn't put it up because it was just crunchy and horrible um but anyway i went and got it cut and it was cut um this side was a bit shorter because it was more damaged. Uh, she saved a little tiny bit about how much more on this side. But it was originally cut to my jawline. Um, and my hair grows so slow because of all the damage and everything. It's so slow. But it was cut to my jaw, like just, just above my jaw um, on this side. And then this side was kind of just on my jaw. Um, the fringe is kind of growing out a bit. Um, not a lot. Um, but yeah. It's, it's not grown loads, don't get me wrong, but it, it's, it, 
it's growing it's 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 getting there um but anyway you have to excuse the state of it when in my videos from now on because i honestly can't do anything with it and i don't want to straighten it i don't want to put heat on it unless i really really have to if i've got an occasion or i've got something i've got to look half decent for you guys are used to me looking like a trampy mess so it's fine um i'm surprised i've got any makeup on today i thought i better make a bit of an effort because my first video in a while this is as good as it got <laughs> um but yes, so that is me. Here's to my week one on Slimming World. I am happy to be back. So happy. I will be doing weekly weigh-ins again. Um, if I feel like it's getting a bit too much pressure doing weekly weigh-ins, I will round it back and just do them as and when. Um, but I plan on doing weekly weigh-ins for now. Um, see how it goes. Uh, I will be doing more what I eat in a day videos. Um, more day in the life videos. Not that I do much in my life. <laughs> I'm mainly just with my mum doing things with my mum unless Gary comes over and things like that. Um, but yeah, I plan on being back more. So hopefully you guys still want me around. <laughs> if not, then I'm literally talking to myself, which it sounds about right. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. I don't know if any of this video made any sense or if it bored the complete pants off it probably bored you because boring myself that's why i don't want to keep talking about it anymore that's it now that's 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 all i'm going to say on swapping diets doing diets what i'm doing anymore that's just it now it's just been gone past is in the past i am now sat here in the present and looking forward to the future and that is it that's all i'm focusing on so any negative comments by the way any negativity i'm not going to respond it's just block and delete it's simple i'm not I don't want my channel to have any negativity or any upset to any other else. This channel is about supporting everybody else, um, tips, tricks, um, just support and help and someone to talk to, um, including with me. Um, I don't want negativity. So any negative Nancy's, you, you, you can jog on because... I ain't got time for that no more because I had a few people and it did bring me down and you know what it's not going to happen this time around I'm just going to let it go over my head um it is what it is and block and delete is literally that simple bye bye <laughs> so yeah sorry about that little rant on the end but for those of you that are still here and are completely amazing and message me still on the daily and message me over on Instagram um my Instagram is just vicky, Sim vicky underscore simkiss um if you want to follow me over there then please do so uh, i do plan on posting more over there um i do need to get better with that but i do plan on posting more over on my instagram as i say vicky simkis underscore s don't know just vicky underscore simkis vicky underscore simkis yeah uh so yeah feel free um but yeah everybody that's messaged me um and still leaving comments on some of my videos i don't i don't get notifications half the time um so if you have messaged me recently over the last few months on here on youtube um if i haven't responded or i haven't love hearted your comment it's not because i'm being ignorant or just not bothering it's because i don't get told and even if i go through my files to look for for any comments they don't they don't come up and i don't know why i don't know if that's just me or if anyone else has trouble with that but I don't always get them, but I do try and search for them, but they don't always come up. So if I haven't responded to any recent YouTube messages, I am very sorry. I'm not ignoring you. I just, I don't know. I've got the messages. Um, but if you do want to speak to me, um, or you need to want to ask me anything, then just go over to my Instagram and send me a DM message because I'll, I'll more than likely be able to respond to that a bit easier. Um, probably not straight away, but I will, I will respond to those easier um but as i say leave any comments on this video now i'm back it will notify me of these comments on this video and so on i'm rambling you get my gist i will reply to all your comments at some point guys so don't worry but i just haven't been ignoring anybody uh yeah this video is now over 20 minutes long i'm sorry i'm gonna go look forward to seeing you all in another video i will pop up that tesco's mini haul um after this one uh so yeah as i say it's just top up shop it's not anything major but i just thought i'd share just in case and i'll show you those sausages as well because that's just my highlight of the week i love those sausages anyway love you all bunties thank you again for coming back and sitting and having a chat with me i hope you grabbed yourself a brew because as i said you probably need one and i was correct so yeah if not then you've earned one to go and get yourself one love you all bunties thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
because then I know <laughs> that it's doing okay. Um, yeah, leave any comments down below and I will reply. Love you all very, 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 very much and I miss you all and I'm so glad to be back with you all. Bye.